Hello guys and welcome to my tutorials for um, Unreal Engine game development. Before we start, I would like to underline that I do ours a lot and it is annoying, I know that. Um, just like this. <laughs> so, um, what we are gonna do is, actually, I wanted to record how I develop my game, at least some parts of it, and give you guys some tips on how to do some certain stuff. So, it will go sometimes deep in, but it will also cover uh, qu quite basic parts. So, I'm not going to start all over and say, this is where you download Unreal Engine or something. If you're doing this, you probably should have downloaded it already. So, I will start Unreal Engine now, and talk in the meanwhile. So, my project is to make a multiplayer co-op game, which has certain classes, so they will do different things. And, um... It will be an online game, or like at least support networking, so I will go into the networking part too. Um, in the time I'm recording this, I don't really know much, I don't really have much knowledge about networking part, I know how to um, control two characters at once, but I don't really know the big details. So um, currently I am using um, 4.8.3. Um, I just learned that 4.9.0 is released, but I'm not going to waste time um, installing it. I'm just going to go on 4.8.3. Um, it will not make much difference, actually. So, we we'll launch it. I already have some projects that I did, but on this one, I will just copy-paste some stuff that I already did while explaining them or do them from the very beginning. So, um, the project will be done on C++, but it will not be pure C++. We will definitely get some help from blueprints, because, ah, let's just say, why did I decide to do that? Um, you can't do everything with blueprints, and when you do things with C++, not everything is optimal or easy. You sort of need each other. So, um, it will be C++, but some of the C++ functions will go for blueprints in order to um, increase our flexibility. And since it will be a third person, I will make a third person template. And I will give it the name um, Tutorial 1. Great project. And in the meanwhile, for those who are definitely new of an Unreal Engine, I will um, give some briefings to um, what is C++, or actually not that. Um, what can we do with C++, what are blueprints, how or when should we use which one, and stuff. Because um, when people get into it, especially when they are new, they are like, okay, why do I need to write things? I will just um, connect nodes and do stuff. But when you um, see that you're actually blocking yourself when you're using blueprints and you're not getting the full capability of the um, game engine, you'll just get back to C++ part. Especially if you're not um, a programmer yourself, in the beginning it will be problematic for you to um, get adjust the programming. It will be real um, hard of a thing, to be honest. So, um, you need to just get used to it in order to increase the capabilities of yourself. So, um, here is our editor. When I pl press play, uh, we get the control of our character, which is quite cool. Um, people are like already exaggerating <laughs> how difficult it is, but I mean, um, just by pressing a few buttons, we now have a controllable character. So, um, I will just leave this over here and go for the differences between um, the blueprints or some um, C++ tricks or methodologies that um, you guys need to know. I will um, uh, cancel. No, no, no. no. Okay. So, um, I will go for the character because um, 
doing the character will be our first thing to follow because when I say there will be a game with different classes, by classes I mean uh, let's say just heroes, different heroes, um, it means that most of the differences, most of the programming differences will be about um, the characters. Yes, there will be things that these characters will use, but most of the differences will be coded into the character. So I press third person character and go in uh, by pressing edit but now um, it will just open this and when I say blueprint editor it will go for blueprints but for now <coughs> I will skip the blueprint blueprint part and go for C++ when you press uh, C++ classes over here tutorial 1 you will see that there is tutorial 1 character and it is a C++ class which is written over there so when you double click on it it actually takes you to um, Visual Studio if you have it installed and over here there are um, the codes we have now when you look at it, it it might be quite complicated for those who have no experience whatsoever with C++ but hopefully I will get it a bit more simple so um, while doing so I just do not want to make it too dull for those who know how to use C++ so I will just make it I will try to make it a bit more um, the midway so on C++ I'm by the way waiting for um, the coloring thing Official Studio. So now, um, how does this thing work? Um, let's go for MS Paint, and so I can draw you some really newbie things. I'm drawing two boxes and this thing. C plus plus. Um, the font. Okay. Ah, God. C plus plus blueprint. And I'm just making this thing. Looks amazing. Okay. So the idea is. The things you write in C++ can be implemented as blueprints. You can um, expose your C++ code to blueprints and whatever you define on C++ you have the option to um, call the functions on blueprints or access the variables on blueprints. You can do everything like that. So um, if you want to do things in the core level we will go for C++. But on the basic basic things, we will go for blueprints. So um, let's just think the cases when we want to use blueprints or C++. So at least I am planning to code things on C++ that is for the character. And that is just about movement or stuff like that. They will all go for C++. But with blueprints, I will do the animation related parts because it becomes a big pain in the ass to make th those things in C++ for instance let's say um, I want to put a particle on my character when my character jumps when you do that with um, C++ it becomes a real real big pain and I will try to avoid it so I will just put this back and go for how do we do the implementation when we say U property we are basically saying that this is something that we are going to use on the engine level, not just the function level. So when we look at it, this is um, a class use spring arm component, or let me just um, start with something more simple. U property um, float base turn rate. This is definitely the variable for uh, turn rates. And over here, the properties for that is visible anywhere, blueprint read only, and category camera. Now, category camera is um, basically 
let me go for um, the level blueprint right click these are just um, I would say those categories it's just um, categorizing things so that you can access them easier um, same goes for this one blueprint read only is you can read this value on blueprint but you cannot write to it however when you change it to blueprint read write now we can access this value and change it on blueprints uh, let me check the duration okay I got four more minutes and that four minutes I will show you um, how to access them so we said it is a property of the character I'm changing the character and if I search for base turn rate as you see it only has get base turn rate not um, set base turn rate because it is blueprint read only but um, if I am to save this one go for Unreal Engine and compile it actually no sorry um, I need to compile it from here because it requires um, a C++ level compile we wait for the compilation Yeah, yeah. By the way, um, I have to say, I will keep things really short. I will need to um, explain everything in detail because, yes, I can be solution oriented. I can just make you do things quite fast, but I want to tell you why am I making such things and what is my purpose behind it. So, we go back and go for um, base turn rate. And as you see now, it got get and set. It has both of it. I don't know if there is a um, blueprint write only something, but if it had it, then there would be base turn rate. There would not be a get one, there will only be a set one. So the hierarchy over here is I have a um, C++ character and my blueprint character that is the guy you see over here and if we are to check it um, character uh, whoops where okay I guess blueprints yeah third person character as you see this is a blueprint blueprint class but um, it is a blueprint class that is derived from a C++ one so um, we, got, we got a C++ one in the core and we wrap it with blueprint and give it we can give it some extra capabilities however the core character uh, the C++ codes will just be there for us to use um, I'm getting close to the end of this video. Um, I know that I could not give so much, but um, as I said, I'm trying to make it a, um, as detailed as possible so that um, you can see you just don't memorize what things are, but you know um, why those things are that way and how we can manipulate those things in much detail. So um, if you are if you have an idea about what object-oriented programming is, on the next video I will cover how how am I going to make difference between characters and um, have to put basic things and stuff. I will give more details about it, but the next video will be making um, different characters that are based on the same thing. Uh, thanks for watching and see you on the next video.